What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Crypto Wire. I know it's late tonight. I'm doing a second video. I usually don't do two videos in one day, but it's a few things that I want to talk about. Um, I want to cover this quick Ethereum news, and then I want to jump into some tips and some uh, ideas of things that the insiders are going to make billions on. And it's not even crypto. It's something totally different. And most people are not paying attention to this part of the market. So let's dive right in because again, we'll start here and then we're gonna dive into some amazing news um, that can probably make us all a lot of money in the long run. So everybody is pretty much aware of Vitalik Buterin um, and his $1 million worth of Ethereum that he moved to the Coinbase exchange. And usual, people who come to my channel and watch these videos know the only time people usually move money to to an actual exchange is to sell okay period how many times have i told you guys i don't keep most of my assets on exchanges i keep them in my own decentralized wallet and when i'm ready to sell i'll send those assets to coinbase and i'll sell them there and then i can withdraw to my bank account however okay now one million dollars worth of ethereum um look it's not going to really do much to ethereum even if he does actually sell the 600 ethereum which is like i said one million dollars worth again people are selling a million dollars worth of eth all the time okay so again i wouldn't look at this as oh my god is his sale gonna make the uh you know ethereum dip and crash no it's not um on top of that, we are already, you know, in a downtrend as far as the crypto market is concerned in general. Bitcoin touched 25,000 again today. And again, I was right there to pick some more up. So again, don't let the news, you know, scare you. Again, at these times when there is fear in the market, like I always tell you guys, this is when the buying opportunities exist. And again, they would rather put fear in your heart to make you feel as if, you know, Oh no, everything is going to keep crashing and keep falling. So you might not want to invest, but the people on the inside, they, they constantly investing, picking up all this stuff, you know, on the cheap. Now, usually I don't cover stocks that often, but the reason why I want to talk about this is because these three tech stocks with more potential than any other cryptocurrency in the market, I've been thinking about this a lot and the three picks are actually three of the stocks that I, I've been looking at myself, you know, just in general, even before reading this story. And clearly those three is Amazon, AMD, and Apple. Now, the key points and takeaways from this is that Amazon has rallied investors this year with a recovering e-commerce business. They're doing great. And then you have AMD shares that have provided far more growth over the last five years than Bitcoin which is amazing. And I can only continue to see AMD and companies like that growing even more because of the need for these microchips. You see what I'm saying? And processors and things like that. And then Apple, of course. Apple's popular lineup of products has made it one of the most reliable investments available. And I can stand by that because Apple has been in my portfolio for the longest and will remain as well as Amazon. Now, AMD this will be my first time jumping into AMD and um, but I'm playing the long game so I'm not too concerned you know if you know prices dip I'll be picking up some more if that's the case um, but as far as these three companies like I said Amazon even though it had a challenge in 2022 with macroeconomic headwinds causing steep declines in 2022 in its earnings this year has been one of recovery and growth the company's North America segment returned to profitability in the first quarter of 2023 and hit over three billion in operating income in Q2 of 2023. So again, you want to look at these types of things, and the uh, the improvement has rallied investors with Amazon shares up seven percent since the start of August. A recovering e-commerce business is a massive win for the tech company, as retail sales make up about eighty percent of its revenue. And at the end of the day. Amazon is not going anywhere. Okay. So not only that, 
uh, also Amazon's push into artificial intelligence this year by adding new services to its cloud platform web services and expanding into chip development. So Amazon is not just, oh, we're just sticking with, you know, retail. They're doing so much far as like, like I said, AI, uh, in-house chip development. They're trying to basically, they're in competition with, with Tesla, basically, and Elon Musk, because he's over there doing the same thing, in-house battery production, in-house chip production. And again, this is going to tie in to the next investments that I want to talk about here in a second. OK, and then we get, like I said, AMD. So AMD has made up um, chip stocks. Basically, this is, has been one of the most attractive investments this year. Put it like that with AMD up 2.63 percent, one of the biggest names in the industry. The company has solid positions in different areas of tech, including AI, cloud computing, data centers, gaming, personal computers, and more. Its diverse business allows investors to profit from the growth of multiple industries over the long term. So when we're talking about diversifying, yes, usually we mean, you know, don't put all your money into one investment. But again, when you are pretty much investing in the things like AMD, you are diversifying your money, even though you're only investing in the one thing. Now, what that means is, like I said, being that Amazon does multiple things and also AMD doing multiple things, like I said, both taking part in, like I said, AI, chip development, things like this. Again, this is where the world not only is right now, but definitely where we're going. I mean, you have to understand, basically, Apple, Amazon, AMD, again, most valuable companies right now as far as stock growth and company growth. Uh, like I said, Apple is a no brainer. Like they're the hottest, you know, mobile company in the world. And I foresee them remaining that way, especially with their new headset that's coming out. It might be too expensive for the average retail investor. I mean, or the average retail buyer to purchase one at, you know, $3,500, $4,000. But eventually those prices will come down and I believe that Apple will be the leader not only in mobile phones, mobile gaming, but also VR and AR. Okay, so again, moving on. Now, this is where, again, a lot of people are not paying attention, but the people behind the scenes, the, the big heads, the suits, they're making not only billions of dollars, but in the coming 20 years, 30 years, they're going to be trillionaires. And here's why. I just had this epiphany today and I actually started doing my research so I could talk about this to you guys. What is the most valuable things on earth? The most rare things, right? Hmm. If the most rare things are the most valuable and our raw materials are basically being depleted faster than anyone is really paying attention to why is no one talking about investing in the raw material manufacturing so I'm, i want to talk about it because let me put it to you like this over the past two years raw materials have proven to be some of the most important but hard to procure slices of the supply chain with a shortage of these basic components brands cannot deliver inventory to its customers on time now there's a lot of reasons about the shortage, especially with the COVID-19 uh, related factory shutdowns that, you know, definitely cause more shortages. And then we had the, you know, bottlenecks as far as, uh, you know, just getting things around. But at the end of the day, raw materials, like I said, make up pretty much everything that we do in this world. So not only is it just a good investment because it's always going to be in need but again we're depleting our natural resources faster than we can you know basically have them naturally occur you see what i'm saying so that's what i'm going to jump over here because i've been looking at dmat and this is not financial advice this is purely financial education you guys you know there's plenty uh what I want to call uh, natural resource or raw material company, you know, uh, that's that's on a stock exchange. 
this is just one that I want to talk about. And the reason why I want to talk about this one is because forecasted growth for DMAT is suggested mining revenue for clean tech related disruptive materials could grow from 41 billion in 2020 to 261 billion in 2040 with lithium, cobalt, nickel, rare earth elements and copper at the foundation of the future net zero economy. Now, again, I'm not here to talk about DMAT, but I am here to talk about exactly what they just stated. And what is that? That this market can grow to $261 billion by the year 2040. Again, with lithium, cobalt, nickel, rare earth elements, and copper. Now, with the increasing development of mobile products, electronics, you know, tablets, watches, smartphones, AR goggles, Bluetooth, uh, headphones, I mean, you name it, uh, electric cars, which is basically cell phones on wheels, battery production, nickel, cobalt, things like that, lithium. Again, nobody's talking about this because nobody wants us regular investors to really know how to get rich, you know, in the stock market, but this is how it's gonna get done because this is gonna be the most rarest investments that you can make that will, like it's stating right here, will, I mean, just go up so much in value, it's ridiculous. So this is what I'm looking more at now, more than anything. Besides cryptocurrency, when it comes to the stock market, again, I'm looking at Apple, AMD, and Amazon for sure. And I'm definitely looking at tons of different uh, raw material stocks, okay? Now, last but not least, before we get up out of here, I will put uh, this article down in the description below because this is an article that's pretty much going over top material stocks for June 2023. And it's all about, you know, the lead for value, growth and momentum. So top material stocks this month include Snowline Gold Corp, Patriot Battery Metals and NGEX Minerals the share prices of which have each risen more than 150% in the last year. So again, I don't wanna keep you guys here too long, but the whole reason for this video is to just make sure that I give you guys value and information that you can use to not only better your own financial situation, but come on now, let's, let's, let's create generational wealth for our kids and our grandchildren, okay? And one of the you know biggest and easiest ways to do that is get involved in the right investments and going forward the right investments is right in front of us we use it every single day in every single way so with that being said guys i just wanted to drop this hot news on y'all because again this year we're going to start putting our money in the right places we're going to start making better decisions and we're going to let our money work for us. Not to mention, DMAT and a lot of these other uh, raw material companies, they offer dividend yields as well. So not only would you be investing into stocks that definitely have, you know, a lot of growth potential, but you'll also receive those dividend yields as well. So until next time, y'all, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.